Hello everyone, I am Terrence Doon and today I'm going to play the game Metro Last Light Episode 3. In the first two episodes I had my cam on but somehow the programs and my webcam isn't working right and isn't saving the video after I made it. Uh, I'm trying to fix this but well until that I will post them without webcam because I don't want to be too late to release another episode for you guys. So well I'm just gonna start without the webcam and we will see what I will be facing again today. So I'm just going to load the last checkpoint. We're almost at the theater now. And the metro I will see should be pretty close. But however small the distance is, we'll have to cover it on the surface. And there, every step you take could well be your last. Chuvak, we're here. Pull yourself together. We don't have long before nightfall, okay? Okay. Okay, with the tunnel collapse, the only way to reach the escalator down to the theater station is cross the surface. And trust me, we don't want to be caught out here in the fucking dark. Opa, we're in luck, Artyomich! This place seems lived in. Rangers probably, I don't know. And when there are rangers? Shit! Short on filters. We'll have to make do. Now come on, take what you need. We're all brothers in the metro. Hey, Prieti. I could use a good watch like yours. Knowing how much air you got left is a must, huh? You know, I've heard of things roaming around that even bullets can stop. You have been through some bad shit, I know, but not like what's coming. Hmm. Artyom, remember, if you want to live, don't drop your guard for an instant, okay? Okay. Oh, that's impressive. I heard about this place. That plane was headed into Moscow when the whole city caught fire. Uh, the building where it crashed, that's the entrance to the theater. The ice is towing up here. It's almost like spring, huh, Artyomich? Maybe we'll live to see the summer. Wait, 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 wait. There's got to be an underground path somewhere around here. The rangers would never cross the square out in the open. Okay, so much for the sun. Those clouds moved in fast. Come on! Where are you? Where did you go in here and not there? This fucking place of death makes me uh, wonder. Let's go out to the light. Check that service room. that thing You okay, Chubak? You're all covered with blood. 
Found the shotgun. Yeah, nice. yeah, I'm okay. I'm okay. Ready. I'm okay. Hey, John, stop! Get down now. Watchman, you are a huge back. The storm must be driving me. That was close. Okay, Artyom, no more tricks like that. Let's get to the plane before another pack comes through. Move it! Oh, I've heard stories about this place. Weird shit happens here. Hey, try opening it. I'll give cover. Jumped! Oh, bleh, let's try together. Moving. Look, Artyom, don't lose your head in here. You understand me? Okay, let's go. One ranger told what me this hell? was a flight from Mallorca. <laughs> Family is returning from vacation, you know? You know, Artyom, I've never been to the sea. Or even on a plane, myself. Yeah, well... Wasn't meant to be. I feel... I don't know, I feel... Weird. Chuck, are you seeing this shit too? Artyom, what is this? What's what? Shoo, are you? Look, they're alive! Get moving already, you hurry up. Hello. God. Okay. What happened? What the hell was that? Shit! We're losing power! Don't Ninja's forget the tower! Flight 76715 here! Where was the Friday? Ask them! Shit! The tower's gone! Donna! We're going down! Speed! We're still at the deck! I can't get on anything! Oh my god! Shit! Shit! Give me that! What's going on here? Stupid and put the thing on. <laughs> oh, my God, Artyom. What? Really? If you hadn't woke me, I'd probably have suffocated like the others did. What? Like this one? Like this one here. Okay. Okay, okay, let's get out of this place now. Now! Artyom, go right. I think we'll find the entrance behind the building. Shit, the demon! Take it down, take it down! Ow! 
Ow! Why me? God damn it! Ow! What do you owe me one? I was the one being captured. What's this? Ooh, secret room? No, nothing, nothing here. Why am I moving this way? I'm getting dragged or something? Oh my god. Come on, where are you? I don't see you. Oh really now? Go, go, go! Give me a hand! Bless him! More are coming! Bullet, you're gonna find the entrance! Above you! There you are! Shit! Too many of them! We have to warn the station! Get to the escalator! Hurry up, now! Move down, they're still after us! Yeah, you hurry! I can't move faster! One down! Open up! Open up! Bled, I can't see you, bastard! Can't I hit them with... with... <laughs> there was one walking in my screen. <laughs> visit to dead Moscow, the phantom of the past, is over. Pavel and I helped each other out again and are returning down to the metro as real partners now. You can't survive the wastelands any other way. But now ahead of us lies a populated station, the theater. It's very close to Polis. If Pavel manages to lead me through the red line guard posts, I'll be home in less than an hour. Okay. <laughs> the theater. Yalla, yalla. Loading. Okay, come on in. Sorry about that. Dangerous times, right? We're going up soon. Are there many watchmen around? We were lucky to get here. Okay, there's a nest in the building by the wrecked plane. Man, I wonder if such a bad dream today. Oh, you want a nightmare? Well, it's waiting for you up there. No sense going with just three men. To clear a nest, we need a couple squads at least. So what now? You're Here, cool. Come on in. Artyomich, so, if it's culture you want, the Bolshoi is up there above us. All the actors who survived are here. Well, people come from all over the metro to see the shows they put on. So, that's our plan. The station next to this one is Revolution Square. One of ours. 
red. And revolution is spitting distance to Polis. So, I, as a good communist, which I am, will vouch for you. They'll have to let you through, and you'll be home in no time. What do you think? Are you the one they just told us about? Yes, we are. Great. Come in, then. So, my Spartan friend, have a look around. There's plenty to see here, huh? I'll talk to my people and find you. Okay. Have a good rest. Food. Bullets to the last surviving theatrical critic. Bullets for mercy on your soul. I disgust myself. Here we sit, at drinks, party lights, when all around us radiation, death, decay, and what? One of the measures has a really appetizing smell. And all the shots. Is it something new? Tell me all about this. 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 Tell me
I feel sorry for the other performers now. Their attempts at impressing the audience might fall short after such a spectacle. But, <laughs> I trust, they will handle the race far above our expectations. And thus, our incredible show continues. This man spits in the eye of danger, challenges nature, defies the god of his new world, and proves once again that humanity is a master of all. A warm welcome for Leonid Burley, our animal trainer extraordinaire, with his uh, terror of our city. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> heard the rumors of new species that were encountered at exhibition. Fearsome beast, black as midnight, invincible, able to induce madness in anyone who saw them. But even those were no match for human ingenuity. The guys at exhibition had noticed they were brewing the wrong mushrooms. <laughs> and they went back to the traditional recipe. The new mutants were gone like morning dew. <laughs> Let us cheer for the heroes at exhibition! And tonight's show goes on. It is time to bring a lyrical mood to our show. We give you the genius of chamber music, the famous accordion player, Kolya Bajarny, with his masterpiece, My Heart Reaches for the Sky, but hits the ceiling and falls down the bottom. A round of applause, please! <laughs> hey, hello, hey! guys oh I can sit here <laughs> and why am I standing <laughs> standing up the whole time your music is such a strings with so much power and thus our incredible show continues today I have the honor of presenting to you the hottest, the most explosive act this side of Atlantic Ocean. Hey, Chicky. The most scorching <laughs> spectacle of today. How are you Our doing? Fire show. A round of applause to welcome the performers. Please. Are you please. ignoring me? Don't you know me? Jeez. Hey, don't set the place on fire, oh.
I must be the most annoying person in this theater, <laughs> sitting down and sitting and and all that. Thank you, dear friends. Thank you. But I must say that, however hot that was, the girls were a bit hotter still. <laughs> Guys, you've got to answer the challenge. Try using the flamethrower, perhaps. <laughs> And yet, we have more, dear audience. Please welcome the Arpeggio Virtuoso, the God of Legato, and Demon of Tremolo. The favorite student of Mel Bay and Vladimir Manilov, the premier guitarist of the New Age, Viktor Minchuk, with his fantasies. Please welcome our Virtuoso. <laughs> Gentlemen, I must announce a change in today's program. To our sincere regret, our visiting magician ran out of ladies for his sawmill act. <laughs> but never fear, we have filled the gap with greatness. Your complete attention, please, as I present the birth of a legend. The Michu and Pajarni duet with their instrumental impromptu, the Song of Songs. A round of applause to cheer our great musicians on. <laughs> Those two again. Underground, the duo known as Minchuk and Pajarni. Our dear audience, this sad moment always come, no matter how often we wish it would not. But our show for today is over. Oh, really? I hope you've enjoyed it as much as we have enjoyed your company. <laughs> Thank you, and please come again. Maestro, well, give us something will... emotional. Goodbye. Farewell! Parting is such sweet song. I will think twice about that one to come back again. Artyom! No? Enjoy the show? Sorry man, time to move on, you patron of the art. Oh, Pavel Igorvich! So glad to see you. Where have you been? Hello, ladies. You don't like us anymore. Here, 
Ну, ну, что? I'm, I'm totally in love with you girls, but I've been busy with work. I'm, I'm very, very sorry. I'll come back soon. I promise. Yeah, ты сюда гуву. Жанна, let me use your powder. In your dreams, you have your own. Use that. It's no good. Why can't your boyfriend buy you something better? Her boyfriend is cheap, that's why. Artyom? Artyom? No, Looks like you're a bit woman hungry, huh? Well, yes. Yes, it's a hard life without a soft one. Anyways, I tell you, we should be going, but uh, let's drink to the fact we are still alive, huh? It's on me, okay? Here you are, two of our specials from the old stock, been infusing it for half a year. Opa, that's great! So, let's drink, Artyom! There you are. Phew, ah, хорошо прошло. Smooth stuff, huh? And this is a good place, but yep. uh, home is the best. You You're know? trying to get you me know, drunk, Bravo! Metro, and people talk all kinds of shit about the red line. That it's awful there, there's no food, that we shoot comrades for nothing, and you can't even tell a joke without getting arrested. Wait, let's have another drink. Here goes, Artyom! Here it is. Wow! So, <clears throat> yes? Our life is a bit strict. One party, one leader, one ideology, but we have order. And everything is shared. Food, medicine, fuel, shelter. No rich men, true. But no beggars either. Another drink. And now, to equality. Come on, Artyom. No, 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 no. Pay that now. Ooh, хорошо прошло. Ah, uh, where was I? Ah, uh, yes. Yes, look, look at the far stations. They freaking eat each other. Sell their kids at slaves. It's like the Stone Age. Left to his own devices, a man becomes a beast. You know, order, order is all that matters. That's, that's our salvation. So you can believe whatever, but I am red. I am red until the day I die. I drink to order. William. Come on, Artyom, come on! Bottoms up! Bottoms up! <laughs> so, my friend, that's how it goes. Don't be mad, Artyom. Just doing my job to protect the red line. And you, Musketeer, are from the wrong side of the barricade. Private, take this comrade in. Yes, Major, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, really now? It is private. That was so stupid of me. I bought that talk of friendship. Damn, the stupid musketeer. Why? Said, Why did you do that? Just you wait. And we'll get even. I wonder though, why did Pavel go through the trouble of trapping me? Well, you better have a solution for it. Because else. He will get it. Move it! Hey, stop that, Vlad! It's just being over enthusiastic, you know? Artyom, look, I think of you as my friend, really. But as a soldier, you understand that I had to follow my orders and bring you here, okay? Now you're under arrest, but perhaps it's not the end of the line for you. I hope. We, the people of the red line, Good day, sir. Good day, sir. At ease, товарищ. So, you're doing good here? Are you not? Yes, sir. Comrade Moskvin is here, inspecting the troops. The Secretary General here? What about Comrade Korn? Yes, sir. Comrade General is here, too. Opa, it's my lucky day, huh? Okay, things are moving faster than we anticipated. Look, Artyom, you're a smart guy, so you understand there is no such thing as coincidence. You are here because we need information. So, my advice to you, my friend? Look. Okay? But don't worry, I got your back. Because we are what? 
Musketeers. All for one and one for all. But no, I'm alone. Their motto is all for us. War is coming, my friend. That bunker you guys found, whoever controls it survives and fuck the rest of us. But we have been preparing for this. And I want you to join us, too. Good day, Comrade General. Comrade Morozov, I was beginning to think you had not survived your mission. I was captured, Comrade Corbett. This ranger here, uh, saved me. What a coincidence. He's Nitsky, one of the Spartan Rangers. Do you know this man? Yes, sir. His name is Artyom. Miller trusts him. They found the six together. He's also earned several commendations since officially enlisting with the Order. Well, I am overjoyed to meet you, Comrade Artyom. I think we both have something to offer. Yeah, you, you think so? Comrade, to the negotiation room. Why? Why hit me? <laughs> Young man, I already was cooperating. Probing and cutting the chase. Hmm? This telepathic mutant, the so-called Dark One, is of extreme scientific <laughs> significance. Tell me all you know about it, and I will allow you to keep your life and your job with the Rangers. <laughs> but as my spy, an operative, just like those uh, musketeers. One for all, and all for... Secretary General Comrade Moskvin. Corbut, I need a moment. And what do we have here? Another enemy of the revolution? <laughs> Perfect. As you have always noted, Lonya must start learning how to improve his, uh, people skills. As a matter of fact, we were... Yeah. Put away your truth serums. I'll show you a more traditional Red Army method. Faster and more effective. You shit! Spill your guts now! Tell everything you know of these six! Huh? Oh. I ain't gonna tell you nothing, shit huh? with your <laughs> moustache. <laughs> bitch! You talk! Or I'll fry your balls in pig fat! Passwords? Code names? Operation protocols? What are you doing, Dad? This is called interrogation, Lonya. Interrogation. Business as usual. What? You never did that playing dolls? No! You little shit! There's no power without blood! There is! Your brother ruled peacefully! And they still love him! Get back here! God damn it! All right. Use your drugs. Use hot pokers. Just get everything out of him and shoot the bastard. And then come to my office. We must talk. Come back here! You may be my Oh, I must agree with Leonid. Brutality is a crooked path to information. I believe in science. One injection, and you will tell us everything. I need you to go to Venice and take care of the locals who made the delivery. 
This will not be a cash payment. Understand? Completely, sir. And uh, what about the Dark One? The creature has been located. The details are in this envelope. You will pick up the animal right after you go to Venice. Don't disappoint me this time. I won't, Comrade General. I, uh, I won't. Fuck Corbett! Fuck my father! And Morozov! And the revolution and my own future! I'd rather be shot and end up like father, killing his own brother! Listen, if you get out of here, just, well, just live! Here! Get in there! This is the way to freedom. Believe me, I know. <laughs> I spent all my childhood hiding from my father and those men. Well, good luck to you! Thank you. Goodbye. Mushrooms! Right. Sit down, Corp. Let's talk. About the negotiations in Polis? Ah, so you already know. I am the head of intelligence, after all. Then why did you let the information leak? Damn the refugees. Polis, Hansa, and even the fucking Nazis already know about our plans. The rats will be exterminated. And war is inevitable anyway. Inevitable? I have my doubts. So does the Politburo. A doubtful man is a fearful man. How dare you! You're the head of state security, and you report to me! Yes, but now, when we are one step away from a unified Red Metro, you have no right to disrupt the plan. I have no right? <laughs> I'm... Moscovin, when you asked me how to deal with your elder brother when he was still the Secretary General, I helped you. And after his tragic death, I bucked your takeover. So I suggest you take my advice again. This is unacceptable. It's very simple, Comrade Moskvin. We all stand together, arms linked against the wind. Or it's every man for himself. But, Corbett, is this whole fucking metro truly worth the blood we're going to spill? I have a way of doing it without spilling any blood. No blood, you say? All right. Go do your trick. I'll handle the police bureau. A frontal assault is hopeless. But if we go underground at the church, advance through the catacombs, then attack from the rear, we should encounter little or no resistance. Then we just have to do a sweep. Attention! Comrade General! Hmm. Soldiers, you are trusted with an important mission. Each group has its task, and you have been told only what you need to know to succeed. But remember that this operation is top secret, and you must not be taken alive by the enemy. I hope that I am understood. Questions? Can we use radios after we capture the assigned ducts? Only in case of emergency, and on a scrambled frequency. If we're faced with strong enemy counterattacks, do we hold the positions or fall back? Hold them. Anyway, the enemy is unlikely to mount an effective counteroffensive. Comrade General, we have been issued a banner along with the other gear, but we were also made to remove all our markings. We will leave no trace of our operation. Only upon victory and receipt of the following signal will you raise your banner over the captured targets. Further questions? No, Comrade General. Mm. Good luck. They are planning an attack, I guess. Now I am in a real spider infested catacombs. Where the General Secretary Moskvin does not look like the head spider. That title clearly belongs to General Corbett. I sure would like to know what's on his mind. What did Lesnitsky bring him from D6? What's going to destroy the enemies of the revolution? 
only questions and no answers. The only thing that is clear, Pavel has information on the Dark One, the which dark makes one. him my current target. And well, everyone, this was the f episode 3 of Metro Last Light. Thanks for watching, everyone. Please like and subscribe. And again, I'm sorry that I don't have my cam on this one, but as you all know, I had a problem with it, so I hope to get it fixed soon. So thanks for watching everyone, and I will see you in episode 4. Goodbye.